Configuring SSL on vCenter Server Appliance. Connect via SSH. Run the Certificate Manager. Select Option 1. Enter the password when prompted. Next, select Option 1 to generate a cert signing request. When prompted, create an output directory. In this example, we created a temp folder. Next, go through the wizard to generate the content of the CSR. Next, connect to the appliance via WinSCP. Next, browse to the temp folder. Here, notice that there are two files that were created, a .csr and a .key. Copy these two files to the local hard drive. In this case, we created a subfolder called vcsa atl71 underscore cert. We can now begin with the certificate request. Copy the contents of the certificate request and paste it in the certificate request form. Under the certificate template field, select the web server. Click submit. At this point, a certificate has been issued. Select the Base64 option and click Download Certificate. Save the certificate. In this example, the certificate is saved as vcsaatl71.cer. Our domain has a certificate chain. The first one is the issuing CA, followed by the subordinate CA, and lastly, we have the root CA. We need to download the certificate chain. From the PKI server, click on the download CA certificate chain link. Make sure you select the base64 option. Save the certificate chain. The certificate chain will have a P7B file extension. After saving, open the certificate chain. Export each of the certificate in the chain. Make sure you select the Base64 option when saving. Here we see the three files that we exported. We have the issuing certificate, the subordinate certificate, and also the root certificate. Next, we need to link all three certs in the chain and save it as a new file. In this case, we begin with the issuing certificate. Next, we copy the subordinate certificate 
at the bottom of the issuing certificate file. Next, we do the same for the root certificate. We copy it at the bottom of the issuing certificate file. At this point, we should have the three certificate in a single file. First being the issuing certificate, followed by the subordinate certificate, then lastly, the root certificate. Save the new linked certificate as a new file. In this case, we saved it as ab underscore root dot cer. Next, open the VCSA ATL71 certificate file. Copy the contents of the AB root certificate at the bottom of the VCSA ATL certificate file. This file should now have the certificate chain at the bottom of the VCSA ATL71 certificate. Via WinSCP, copy the AB root certificate in the VCATL71 certificate to the VCSA Center Appliance. Save over the file if prompted. Log into the vCenter server appliance via SSH and run the certificate manager. In the certificate manager, select option 1 to replace the machine certificate. Then select option 2 to import the custom certificates we just created. When prompted for the machine SSL certificate, enter the path for the VCSA ATL71 certificate. This should be in the temp directory that we created earlier. Next, you will be prompted to enter the custom key. This is also in the temp directory that we created earlier. Lastly, enter the root certificate. If you recall, this is the ab underscore root dot cer file that we created earlier. Next, select yes to confirm that you want to replace the machine SSL certificate. This process took more than 15 minutes to complete. When it completes, we will reboot the vCenter server appliance. For the purposes of this video demonstration, I went ahead and sped up the last part of this video.